guys, welcome. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitunga. Thank you for joining. This is the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. Today, we are talking about dress code and conduct at the workplace. Some organizations have come up with a dress code for their staff, also stopping them from chewing gum at their workplace. Which takes us to our first question. Do you agree with the proposal that states your employer should not call you after work time is done? Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 and finished. To say whether I'm in support or against it, because it will depend on the situation. Uh, and also it depends why this empl employer is calling the employee. You know, it's a term of agreement. Uh, if, if the employer is willing to, to boost the employee, or to pay the employee for that overtime, which they're calling for them. It depends whether the employee will agree or not. Uh, you are inconveniencing my time also at home. I still you call familiar, you call me. Okay, for instance, it is on a Friday. I'm not supposed to go to work on Saturday. Then when I'm at 8, at tomorrow you're supposed to be in the office. So, to still be a My time is my time. To talk work, at four, ni tuishimiane jupia mini kona familia. Si kazi yako tuni do anastaili kufanya. I've got my own work also to do at home. And... Nese sema, like, if maybe I'm, get, I'm getting paid more extra cash, nese agree. But uh, seme, kama yo kuenda kuwak for more, more extra hours, eh, ni kwa yo mshara napata like every month. I don't think nitaenda. But sababu time yako na yeye iliisha ya job. Sasa hiyo time nyingine ni yako maybe na familia yako ama ni na wasio wako eh. Akikutaka akongoje ile time ya job. Hapo eh. ipo. Sasa hiyo swali mimi naenda na nayo hivi hivi. I kind of support it but also not support it. Cuz basically like my work uh we work uh, overtime. We work like in the media. You have to work beyond, after five. And there are questions you have to be asked. So, you know, work in terms of employment, it's all about teamwork. And uh, through teamwork, that's where you find something positive. So, after five, it's okay, just call. Because work has to continue. It depends on the job. And if, okay, obviously, if it's like um, a doctor, that's reasonable for you to be called uh, even in the midnight. But um, if it's, uh, let's say, bank, like a bank, a bank, you are employed as a cashier accountant, I think it's not reasonable for someone to call you at 9 p.m. It's not reasonable. I think it depends with the job. Yeah, it depends with the job. Uh, personally, yeah, I do agree so. Because uh, it shouldn't be a double standard. It's a just. It's just a norm that even when you're in work, when you're in, during work work hours, you're not allowed to to do your personal nini, do personal calls. You know, just deal with your personal issues from like nini. You set them aside from work. Yeah, I agree with it because there are working times. If your working time is from 9 to 5, I don't think you should call me past 5 because now that's my personal time. It's invading the personal time of the employee because you, the person had all day to call you and if, if the day has ended, there's tomorrow. Unless it's an emergency, life and death kind of emergency, you shouldn't contact your employee past working hours. It's their personal time. Yeah. First of all, when you have done your eight hours work, then uh, you have done your job. So you have done what you get paid for. So when your employer calls you after the official work hours, then he has to pay for it. If he wants to, you to come to the office or if, you want, if he wants you to do a certain job, then he has to pay for it. it my, done, my day is done, so my working hours are over. And the negative point is you reduce my private time which I can spend with my children, my wife, my girlfriend, friends. So I think it is not correct that uh, uh, an employer should uh, take advantage on the position he has. Mm, no, it depends. Depends. Depends on your capacity. Um, uh, probably if your job is tiring, the employer should not like call you. There are some jobs which are intense and there are some jobs which 
actually they are not intense. Yeah. So it depends on the job. It depends on your relationship with the employer. Some people have a good relationship. Some people just have a formal relationship past five or past four. They don't want anything with the job. So it, it, it depends. Yeah. Mm, actually, agree. Uh, because uh, you find sometimes when you're at work, uh, you are working for that employer uh, in work. So there's no way, after you have worked, there's no way or there's no need your employer to again conduct you after you have done your work. Because uh, uh, some of Kenyans and some of the, these employees, they work by time. Some work eight hours, some ten hours, so it depends. Uh, after work, they are tired. So I feel uh, the employer should not conduct uh, em their employees after they have worked. If it can be avoided, I feel like it would be a good thing for the employers not to contact their employees after their work time is done, unless it's in a case of emergency, or maybe they're actually willing to pay more for the extra time. On to our next question. Do you think employers should be allowed to interfere with the personal time of their employees? Let me know what you think in the comment section. No. No, no. Employees' personal time is employees' personal time. Unless... Uh, that personal time in Meleto time your job. Yeah, there is that time timeline for job and there is that time away from job. So time away from job, employer should pay for it more. Sir, so, eh, you go to Absolutely no. Jew as a human being, you've got your own timetable to run your issues. After work you also need to do other things. See, at Nikazi, turn your mke six, niende kazi, then after after kazi, let's say, natoka five, then still in my mind, nikotua ti employer wangu aniza nipigia, no, it should it be that, that way. After five, if at all, I'm coming from work at five, time yangu ye shimiwe, I need to do other private things. Yeah. Money is involved, man. Tutakuja, <laughs> but... Kama kama ni stories zingine zenye as involved pesa I don't think mimi kwa opinion yangu naweza kuja because uh, hiyo ni free time yangu uh, no. you know there are two things there are, there is personal time and there is working duration so one is not supposed to interfere with someone's personal time because that's your private time and you have a social life to live but just in case there is an emergency, someone can call, and that's not interference. Ku interfere na personal time yangu, na kama na interfere na yo, I make sure I ki interfere na yo, I'm going to hand something. Juu yo ni ile personal time wenye nafa, kufikiria kama yaida niko ni weekend, ni memaliza kazi yangu Friday. Nafa ni fikiria kama na zaenda home, niende nifanye shunguli fulani fulani kama ni kulima kutesai watu wanatengeneza shamba. Naona hiyo time akidavia na time yako na kuna kitu unaenda kuani kutoka kwake. Atakuwa amekuharibia plans zako. No, no, I think uh, during the okay when you are being employed, you sign some stuff, you say the time you are available and somehow it's like a contract. So if he does it and goes against it he's breaking the contract which is not nice yeah it's not um that ethical for someone to do yeah anaweza kukupigia maana ni mwajili umeona yeye ndo ana anasababisha huko wewe ndo anasababisha umeenda umelala pale kwa hiyo na mimi tu amke utafanyaje yani personally i don't agree with that and considering that every employer and what's it called work organization has a HR system that uh, has calculated that move. It shouldn't be that nene, intrusive to the employee's personal time. So as long as it's something that's understandable and not overstepping boundaries, say no problem with it. No, no they're not. Because they already dedicate a lot of time to the work and they have personal lives, life, their life doesn't revolve around the work. They have families, friends, themselves, kids, other jobs. So yeah, they shouldn't take their personal time. No. You know, my personal time is my personal time. If I want to sleep 20 hours, then I want to sleep 20 hours. So I think uh, the employer should uh, act and behave in accordance to the contract he has with the employee. 
when he has a, a clause in the uh, contract that he has the right to call after the working hours, when he has a, a clause in the contract that he can use whatever the, uh, in, the, in the private time, then uh, I have agreed on that as the employee. But normally they should just follow the contract which they have done with the employee. No, I don't think so. Personal time... Personal time is personal time and work time. Because if you interfere with personal time, it will reduce their productivity when they are supposed to be doing work. Personal time is for rest and all those things. So if for personal time they're just involved in work issues, by the time they're doing work, their productivity goes down because they are, they are under, overwhelmed, yeah? They're overwhelmed, yeah. No, 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 no. Unless we are applicable because we have some emergencies, but I don't agree, no, yes. It's called personal time for a reason, because this is my time to spend time with family, it's my time to spend time alone, relaxing, especially if I'm working a nine to five job, I need some time to actually get the energy right back. And as I said earlier, if my employer is not willing to pay me an extra, then no, thank you. We're taking a short break, we'll be back with two more questions. Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. I am your host SK Gitonga, do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms. Today we're talking about conduct and dress code at work, which takes us to our next question. Do you think there should be a mandatory dress code at the workplace? Let me know what you think in the comment section at y254, hashtag Unfinished. There should be no mandatory dress code due. It will depend with the quality of work. Let's say one person has dreadlocks and wears casual, but that person performs very well in that work. And this other person dresses official and uh, shaves, but the performance of that person is not as much as this casual person. So you see there will be no sense in firing this person because of how they dress. It will only be a loss to that workplace only. So dress code doesn't, performance, performance first. Performance, then dress code there last to commercial. Depends with the kind of job. Let's say you are Mualim. Yes. Dressing code should be looked at. I don't think when I when I to when I dress code, I don't think when I dress code in in India I'm not doing a job. How 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 far you can achieve? Do you As long as I'm doing my work, no, no, I feel you interfere. So I don't think ati kuna kufa kuwe na dress code siji is in his stuff za kitambo like tuko generation na sai tunaitwa Gen Z. Yo basi afadhali yo job bikae kwa sababu kuna nguo zingine personally mimi sizi ba. At some point yes. Cuz nowadays in this generation the JZ generation people people have not been coded in terms of my dress, my choice. Everyone has their opinion in terms of dressing. And you see in the workplace, it's a presentation of that institution or organization or a company. So I think the workplaces should at least regulate because also your presentation sells you. It depends on the institution that you have done work and the work you have done is the work you do kama unafanya kazi official official it's good unafaa kuwa na uniform ya officially kama uko ina company it's good kama unafaa kuwa na dust coat ufai kuwa na dust coat at least una match na wengine wenye wako kwa your institution kuna wengine si lazima dressing code eh, kama mzee unafuata yeye ni makanga 
sasa ataenda ngare akingara aende achafue hiyo nguo tena pale na mafuta oil so hapo iko hivyo that depends also with the with the what with the place the occupation of the person it's pretty nice considering the fact that ukenda bank utaona like okay it just suits the environment of the bank it suits the occupation but i think as long as you are decent there's it's not supposed to be like be a mandatory a mandatory dress code for someone yeah and yeah just dress decently oh, definitely yeah definitely because um there's different uh ambience in different workplaces could be bars could be restaurants could be official corporate places the the dress code varies but it's very what's it called you know how do i say this it's very please help me it's very it goes it goes along you can't like dress up for a different nanny and go to a workplace that doesn't match that aesthetic yeah yeah as much as i personally wouldn't even like it but i think it is because it will shield people from a lot of inappropriate situations as much as people should have the manners already and know that something is inappropriate they should be addressed code to shield people and there's some corporate places where casual dressing would just look wrong so yeah there should be a dress code for our places uh to be very honest i don't think so because um in this moment my employer can dictate what i have to wear i think that is kind of self responsibility and i think when somebody has uh, his mind together he knows that he cannot uh, go to his workplace dressed as if he want to go in a discotheque dressed as he want to go out for fun so i think working hours for sure you have to have a responsibility but it should be not the responsibility of the employer it should be the responsibility of the employee okay it depends if your job is like um you are like a face of the market of the company for instance a, a, a waitress or caterers or yeah uh, a uniform will be better but if like you are probably a software engineer you are not even interacting with people and all those things um probably a, a casual casual official outlook will be better just to bring out uh, that relaxed environment yeah yeah it's very very important because uh, uh different people work in different sectors and uh, for the etiquette or good conduct of their job uh, they must groom well they must have a good attire uh, more specifically on the the type of job they are doing yeah so i agree yeah it totally depends on where you actually work we have some job places that require you to have an official kind of look which is fine some jobs also require you to have a uniform let's say police nurses and pilots that's cool but in other cases i feel like it's totally unnecessary uh because i don't see how having a ragged or having dreadlocks is going to stop you from being creative or effective at what you do as long as you're decent and it's not excessively short it's not excessively ragged that's all that matters which takes us to our last question what are some of the bad grooming habits that you think should be avoided at the workplace let me know what you think in the comment section it na depend na kazi yenyewe ni kazi gani yenye unafanya na unaifanya wapi unadunga tu decent to like eh unajifunika like mwili wako yote yes maybe a very very short dress like minute like kidogo like small uh dresses uh like mini skirts and you are going to teacher school where there are kids i don't think that's appropriate for a teacher but if okay just wear decently like in you see vibes or short ayo inategemeana na kazi yenyewe mavazi inategemeana na kazi yenyewe ni kazi gani inafanyika kama ni ba basi yako mavazi yake kama ni mahali pa kula basi yako mavazi yake basi kama ni mahali pa kufanya kazi ngumu ngumu za kufiatua tofali yako mavazi yake kwa hiyo kila mahali kuna mavazi yake other thing this one is uh, relative but personally i hate overdoing like a girl overdoing makeups and all such so inanikathirisha tu but in, okay it's something in that yenye 
in a in a driving head that kind of thing so you do it but don't overdo it i feel like there's a respect that goes into workplaces and organizations because courtesy is one of the key things that help an organization at a like as a as an individual in your individual life there's some basic courtesy that you'll give everyone it shouldn't just be oh you know as long as you're working there's a respect that you give to that environment and as human beings when you interact with any not just with the with the customers or nini even like amongst each other like employ- employees working together this i think short like inappropriately short dressing um that is the only one i think that really is because as much as people say tight clothing i mean really <laughs> really short i think feel like short exposes too much or like the cleavage something like that doesn't I, just be covered <laughs> definitely don't wear crocs <laughs> to uh, to work um don't probably things which are more exposing yeah yeah because for for ladies and for guys okay it depends also but uh some things are just outright inappropriate wearing crocs just wearing yeah just look some some presents over here i'm not uh, singeli wale kina dada lakini bila shaka unapata kuna mavazi mengine ambayo hayauiani ama hayambatani na uh, madini katika jamii so utapata baadhi ya mavazi wengine wamevalia minisketi ama sehemu za mwili zao ziko nje so bila shaka si kubaliane nayo na haifai kabisa so I would say having excessively revealing clothes and also not being able to take care of your personal hygiene like brushing your teeth you know just the basics having long hair is not a bad thing but having long and kempt hair actually gives off bad vibes so I would advise you to just be decent be clean and be nice to your workmates we have come to the end of the show thank you for watching i am your host SK Gitonga bye